and today we will see the continuation of the very same exercise so today we will begin with the seventh question so the question says the given figure shows a right angled triangle ABC okay so ABC is a right angled triangle and an equilateral triangle BCD now this BCD this white triangle is an equilateral triangle fine find the area of shaded portion so we have to find the area of shaded portion that is this part okay now to find this let's see what are the things given here so abc is a right angle triangle and two sides are given so basically if you see here this is your 90 degree right so angle b is 90 degree so that means this will be your hypotenuse right so this will be your base and this will be your perpendicular so let us find what is the side ab using pythagoras theorem okay so using pythagoras theorem Okay, so in from triangle ABC, using Pythagoras theorem, we have AB equals to square root of AC square minus BC square. So we have AC which is 16 and we have BC which is 8, right? So put the values, you will get AB equals to square root of 192. Is that clear? Now, to find area of shaded region, what we generally do is, we will subtract the area of smaller figure from the area of bigger figure. So here the bigger figure is this triangle and we have to subtract this triangle area. Okay, so we will get the area of this shaded portion. Now let us see the next part that is we have found it AB. Okay, and we know BC. Now will we be able to find the area of this triangle ABC? Yes, definitely. Yes, because the area of triangles is half into base into height. So this is my base and this becomes my height, right? So if I do that, then area of triangle ABC is equals to half into base, that is this into height, that is AB is 192. Okay, so do the cancellation, you'll get this much. Okay, now next is we have to find the area of this triangle, right? This is an equilateral triangle. And we know that equilateral triangles area can be found out that is triangle uh, area of triangle BCD can be found out using this particular formula. Okay, now each side here is equals to 8 centimeter, right? So let me put side equals to 8, then I'll get 16 root 3 to be the area of triangle BCD. Okay, now as I said, area of the shaded region that is triangle ABD will be equals to area of bigger figure that is triangle ABC minus area of smaller figure that is triangle BCD okay so I have let us put the values so area of triangle ABC is 32 root 3 and area of triangle BCD is 16 root 3 so when you subtract them you will get 16 root 3 square centimeter so pause the video to note down okay let's have a look at this particular question so question C is find the area of area and perimeter of quadrilateral ABCD so if you forget about this line then this becomes your quadrilateral right so you have to find the area of this quadrilateral and you have to find the perimeter as well now what are the given things let us see so here it is given that this is 90 degree right so AB that is this side is given to be 8 centimeter right AD that is this one is given to be 10 centimeter BD is given so BD is this one so basically for this triangle for this triangle all these three sides are given so we can definitely find the area of this triangle okay now our next aim is to find the area of this rest over triangle okay so if I add these two areas then I'll get the area of ABCD quadrilateral okay now another thing given is DC DC is this one right so this is also given to us Fine. So let us uh, see once again. So AB is given, AD is given, BD is given, and CD is given. But we are not given BC. Okay. Now in order to find the perimeter, we need to find what is BC, right? So let us try to find BC using this right angle triangle. It is already given that this is 90 degrees. So that's why BCD is a right angled triangle. Okay. So let us try to find the area of 
uh, let us try to find the length of BC. Okay, so using Pythagoras theorem again. Okay, so using Pythagoras theorem, we have BC. Now this is 90 degrees, so that's why this has to be hypotenuse. So BC will be equals to DC square, square root of DC square minus BD square. Okay, so if I use Pythagoras theorem, then I'm getting BC to be how much? 5 centimeter. DC is given to 13 and BD is given to be 12. Okay, so I'm finding this to be 5 centimeter. Okay, so we found it BC, right? Now we found it BC and we know the remaining size as well. Now let us find the perimeter. So perimeter will be given by this one. And if you put the values of A, B, B, C, C, D and D, A, you will get perimeter to be 36 centimeter. Okay, now let us move on to the next part that is finding area. Now, as I said earlier, there are two triangles. One is this triangle and another is this triangle right so let us try to find area of both triangle now to find area of triangle abt abt so we'll make use of which formula we'll make use of heron's formula okay so to find to use heron's formula we need s that is semi perimeter which is given by ab plus b d plus ad divided by 2 okay which turns out to be 15 now after finding s We'll use this formula, this is called Heron's formula in order to find the area of triangle ABD. Okay, so use Heron's formula, you will find it to be 15 root 7. Is that clear? Okay, now the next part is to find area of this right angle triangle. And if this is your base, this becomes your height in right angled triangle. Yes, so that's why to find area. Okay, to find area of triangle BDC, so we have half into base. Base is 12, okay, into height. So if this is your base, this becomes your height. So 12 into 5. So this gives me 30, okay. Now, this area of triangle ABD came out to be 39.7 and the other one came out to be 30. Now, to find the area of this quadrilateral, what we need to do? We need to add the areas of both triangles. So area of triangle... Uh, area of ABCD will be equals to area of triangle ABD plus area of triangle BDC, which turns out to be 69.7 square centimeter. So pause the video to note down. Okay, now let us have a look at uh, this question. So we are directly jumping into question 13 because most of the sums you have already covered in your class 8 mathematics. Okay, so just give a try to those problems as well. Now, the question says, in triangle ABC, angle A is given to be 90 degree. So this diagram is not given in your book. So you may pause the video to note down your diagram. So it is given that A is 90 degree. So here it is 90 degree. AB is X and AC is given to be X plus 5. And the area of this triangle is given to be 150 centimeter square. So you need to find the sides of the triangle. Okay, so basically this is a right angle triangle. So if we are able to find the values of X, okay, then we are able to find AB and AC. Now after finding AB and AC, use Pythagoras theorem to find BC. So let's begin. Okay, now since the area is given to 150 centimeter, square okay since area is given to 150 centimeter now what is area formula now in this case since base and height are given so it will be half into base into height okay so instead of area of triangle i am writing half into base into height okay so if this is your base this becomes your height okay and let's do cross multiplication so this 2 and 150 gets multiplied so we have x into x x square plus 5 into x is 5x so 2 goes over there becomes 300 let me get that 300 to the left hand side so i'll get this one okay now you have already done factorization so we will factorize this left hand side using midterm break okay so the midterm break can be used in this way here fine so open the bracket okay and factorize it fine so after factorization you will get x plus 20 into x minus 15 equals to 0. Now here, the product of two numbers is becoming 0. So the product of two numbers will become 0 only if one of them is 0. For example, if this is 2 and this is also 2, then the product won't be 0. 
right? Suppose if this is minus 2 and this is minus 3, again it will not be 0, right? So, for the product to be 0, one of them has to be 0. So, either x plus 20 has to be 0 or x minus 15 has to be 0. So, if x plus 20 is 0, then what is the value of x from here? It is minus 20 and if x minus 15 is equal to 0, then x will be 15. This minus 15 goes over there becomes 15. Okay. Now, what is x actually? x represents the length of a side, but here x is turning out to be minus 20. So, we cannot have x to be negative. Okay. So, that is why the value of x has to be 15 here. Okay. So, as I said earlier, x cannot be negative. So, that is why x is equals to 15. Now, we found it a, b, right? Similarly, we can find what is my AC. Now, since x is 15, that is why AC will be automatically 20. Okay. So, we have AB equals to 15 centimeter, AC equals to 20 centimeter. So, we have both. So, use Pythagoras theorem to find BC, which turns out to be 25 centimeter. Pause the video to note down. Let us have a look at this particular question. So, question says, if the difference between the sides a very right angled triangle is 3 centimeter and its area is 54 centimeter square find the perimeter so basically here it is again talking about right angled triangle now they have not said anything about hypotenuse okay so in questions related to your right angle triangle if they are saying two sides then it has to be the sides other than hypotenuse okay so they will directly tell you about hypotenuse okay so here they are talking about the sides of a triangle okay so difference between the sides of a right angle triangle is given to be this much okay so that means they are talking about non hypotenuse sides okay and area is given to be this much okay so let the two sides be x and x minus 3 centimeter because the difference between the sides is 3 centimeter right okay suppose if one of them one side is 7 other has to be 10 okay so that's what is the meaning so if one is x then other has to be 3 less that is x minus 3 centimeter now if this happens now what is given area is given to 50 that is area is half into base into height yes so as i said these two are non hypotenuse side so that's why one of them has to be base and other will be my height okay now we have half into base into height equals to this one right so again you will do the same way you will do the factorization okay which gives me so x minus 12 equals to 0 or x plus 9 equals to 0 so from here x minus 12 will be equals to 0 right and other one will be x plus 9 equals to 0 and x minus 12 equals to 0 gives me x equals to 12 x plus 9 equals to 0 gives me x equals to minus 9. So, obviously, since x represents the side, that is why it has to be 12. Okay, The value of x has to be 12. It cannot be negative. Is that clear? Okay. Now, if we are finding x, right? if we have found x, the other side has to be x minus 3, that is 9. Okay, so x is 12, 12 minus 3 is 9. Okay, and the other side will be how much? Now, other side will be the hypotenuse. So, hypotenuse is given by this one. Okay, so this is just a short form of showing the same problem. Okay, you have to do the sum in the way it was done in question number. So, you may pause the video to note down the hints. Okay, and uh, it is given that the perimeter will be equals to. 12 plus 9 plus 15, which is 36 centimeter. Okay, let's have a look at the last question for the day. AD is an altitude of isosceles triangle ABC, in which AB is equals to AC. Okay, so let us draw an isosceles triangle, and here it is said that AB and AC are equal. So this and this side are equal. Okay, and both of them are given to be 30 centimeter each and the last part is given to be 36 centimeter. Now, AD is the altitude. So, let me draw AD altitude. Okay, now you have to mark a point O on AD. So, you have to mark in such a way that angle BOC, BO, you have to draw 
O somewhere over there. Okay, so we will draw, we'll point O in the AD, right? So that BOC is 90 degrees. So this angle is given to be 90 degree. Okay, now you have to find the area of quadrilateral ABOC, that is this particular quadrilateral. Let's see how to do this. Now it is again like area of shaded region which will be found in using area of bigger figure minus area of smaller figure. Now here the bigger figure is triangle ABC. We have to find the area of triangle ABC and the smaller figure is triangle BOC. So we are going to find area of two triangles here. Now triangle ABC's area can be found out easily because we know this side, we know this side and we know this side as well. So use Heron's formula to find the area which turns out to be 432 square centimeter. Fine. Now let us go to find this area. Okay. So let us see what are the things we have with us. Okay. So we have AB equals to AC and BOC is given to be 90 degree. Okay. Now if this happens, if this happens, then this and this will be 45 degree each. BOD means this BOD means BOD means this angle and COD means this angle. So this both angle will be equal to each other and there will be 45 because both of them will get added to 90 degree. Yes. Okay. Now this happens because whenever you draw altitude from your isosceles triangle then this altitude will bisect the sides and the angles okay now this is 45 degree and this is 90 degree okay now in this triangle in this particular triangle bod if this is my 45 degree then obviously this also has to be 45 because this is 90 degree right so 45 plus 45 plus 90 gives me 180 degree is that clear so this is also 45 this is also 45 so this BOD this BOD is also isosceles triangle okay now in isosceles triangle this and this angles are equal so that's why this OD and BD will be equal to each other okay so that's what I have said here so OD and BD will be equal and their length is going to be 18 now as I said this BC is 36 and this altitude will bisect the side so that's why this bd will be 18 from here to here is 36 so it will be exactly half that is 18 so if this is 18 this also has to be 18 because this is a this is an isosceles triangle is that clear so the area of triangle boc will be equals to half into base base is 36 and what is height height is od od is 18 right so calculate this this turns out to be 324 square centimeter is that clear okay so we have founded both areas area of triangle abc area of triangle boc okay so that's why area of the quadrilateral aboc will be equals to area of triangle abc minus area of triangle boc let us put the values so your answer will be 108 square centimeter thank you very much and try the sums which are left